all right so quick video for you guys i just want to show you some customizations i did to the car so far using beamer code so first thing or the first noticeable thing is the ambient lighting i don't know if you can tell on camera but this light right now is red and red is not an option but let me show you guys one of the better things you can do with this interior lighting hold on let me show you all around of the red first before i change it up see on the inside so it's red and the custom color which is my favorite is this combo here purple and blue so for those of you who know these cars by default you cannot have two color color combinations like this so that was one of the things possible with the configuration in beamer code so i got blue at the top and purple at the bottom i'm i'm still experimenting with this so i'm not too sure if i can make um for example like the bottom a different color completely like i don't know if you guys can see it but the bottom is purple right now um bottom by the feet but i don't know if you can make like you know the foot area a different color and the bottom here a different color so far the app I, i'm using it in the simple mode and it just gives me top and bottom so i'll see if expert mode has that at some point later but anyway besides the ambient lighting let's see what else let me show you guys i also did the dashboard so for those of you again who know these cars and uh for those of you who know what car this is already this is my m550 and the m550 does not show 200 on the dash by default 160 is the default guys i had another configuration where i had an m logo in the middle instead of the m50i i had one where i put alpina bmw which is pretty uh pretty crazy um what else i did oh so something you can see i did the auto start stop system but i'm still messing with that but auto start stop um, it, I have it disabled, but sometimes it still comes on. So I don't know if I'm missing an option or something. I have to play with that a little bit more. Um, I also took off this seatbelt chime. So even if I'm not wearing my seatbelt and I'm moving, the seatbelt chime, that annoying sound will never come on. So that's another thing you guys can see of course or cannot see of course sorry uh what else i also did oh let me show you guys as well in the settings when you go to sound general and sound where is it general and sound so the speaker system i have in here guys is the um what is it? Uh, Harmon, how do you pronounce that? Harmon Cardon or whatever, right? Uh, the camera focus, Harmon Cardon. So, but if you look at here, <laughs> the options here are for the uh, the Bauer, Bowers and Wilkins sound system. This is not an option by default. So, and these options actually work, guys. So, for example. I can make the sound sound like it's in a concert, you know, on a stage, movie theater and stuff. And yeah, you hear the different guys. It's a lot more like, for example, studio, which is a default versus like concert or movie theater. When I have it in concert or movie theater, it's like I can hear the sound like all over the car, like from under the top everywhere. It sounds pretty sick. Um, studio sounds good, but it's like. I hear it more here in the front only, you know, versus like in the back of me and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, it also gave me, I don't know if it's that sound setting that did this, but the background, you see this textured background with the holes. Um, I'm, I'm actually not too sure what 
did this option i played with so many things in here guys but that is not there by default you don't get that textured background it's just gray by default so another thing i want to show you is the on the dashboard right so the dashboard i updated the amount of times that the the digital dash is refreshed right so i don't know about you guys but this is a a, a thing for me right some people may not even notice this or care, but I do. But on the dash, right? Do you see these numbers? You know, showing how fast you're going, right? You have it here and you have it in the heads up display. By default, the refresh rate is not fast, right? So what happens is, let's say you go in from, um, I don't know, from 20 to 30, you will not see almost every number going from 20 to 30. It'll kind of jump, maybe 20 to, 24 and then 27 and 30 you know obviously changing depending on how fast you're going right so the way i have this is that it refreshes a lot faster so let me show you guys here i don't know if you guys if you guys watch my previous videos or if you know these cars you you know how it looks um you'll see the difference so let me go I'm gonna do a pull real quick with this car and show you. I just love how those numbers look uh, refreshing fast. Oh, I gotta pull off the light. This is gonna be good. Going sports, sport plus, sport plus. look at it myself obviously because i had to drive but i don't know you can you can see how fast yeah, the numbers um are refreshing or basically the car showing almost every number i personally love that guys um what else i did um i know there were some other things i did i just can't remember it right now for this video guys but let me know what you think so far one of my favorite features is the custom uh ambient lighting Having, I always wanted like the blue and purple. It reminds me kind of like the Mercedes. Oh, Mercedes Benz has that uh, color normally. But yeah, so over time, when I play more with this uh, Beamer Code thing, guys, I will, uh, I will show you guys more. If you have any questions specifically on it, you know, let me know in the comments below. I will either you know answer in the comments or. I'll answer in the next video or some future video about this stuff. But yeah, so far, I love this, man. <laughs> I wish it was like nighttime all the time so I could see the uh, see the interior lighting. Let me do one more pull before I close the video. <laughs> all right. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video, man. See you in the next one. Let's go.